You want to improve the structure in your work, but where to begin? I'm David Stjernholm, and in this episode of Done, I'll share three things you can start with today. But first, building a well-working folder structure is an art in itself. On the Structure blog right now, I share two key principles for folder naming and tips to streamline your digital workspace. You'll find the link there in the show notes. When thinking about everything you could do to improve your way of working and make it more structured, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. This is especially true if you have so much to do now and have had for a while that you will become aware of structure because you seek a lighter workload. Where do you start when there's so much you want to refine? And it does take some time as well. You don't have any extra time as it is today and it's more time than structure would give you. Doesn't it sound like a catch-22, right? Do you recognize this situation? Do you even experience this right now? Let me suggest three steps to start with. They're not comprehensive, but they're a good start to build on if you feel like you have too much even to begin. Do this. Step one, get an overview of everything. There's too much buzzing around now. You need to see clearly what it is to get a grip on it and be able to do something about it. Create a mental map on a blank sheet, on paper or in an app, of everything you have going on to see it more clearly than just having it in your head or an endless detailed list. Or if it suits you better, list what's buzzing in general. What spinning plates on sticks are you keeping up in a balancing act circus routine? If you get everything down so that you can see it in front of you, you'll have more control over it. Maybe there's less on paper than it feels like in your head. Step 2. Separate the wheat from the chaff. Find nuances in the everything you wrote down and made more visible. Not everything is equally important. Some things are more critical than others. Some are absolute musts, while others are just musts. Mark the most important ones so that they stand out from the whole. And step three, give yourself some breathing room. If your life is overcrowded, you need to create some space. Free yourself from at least one of the less critical musts. Re-evaluate and decide to forget it and not do it completely. Either re-evaluate and decide to forget it and not do it completely. You didn't have the space for it. You made a wrong estimation of what you would have time for. It happens. Or, if that's impossible, ask someone else for help and have them do it instead of you. Ask a colleague or hire someone from outside. Or, if the less important thing is still your responsibility and needs to be done, decide not to do it now but later. Give yourself a definite break. A break you can get away with for yourself and others. Until then... Be restrictive with saying yes to other things and instead keep some space so that you don't fill the break with something new and end up with too much again. Use the space you've created, or some of it, to try out your structure ID. Invest some time that will give you a better structure, not just now, but primarily in the future. Some common structure IDs to try out are, for example, to gather all to-do tasks into one list in one tool, to start managing emails in a more structured way so that the inbox gets empty now and then. To set aside time for important tasks regularly in the calendar, for example by playing a sliding puzzle game with your focus time. Because if you, even though you don't feel like you have time, start with getting an overview, categorizing priorities among what you have to do and giving yourself more time, structuring will suddenly become possible. You reap the benefits of the refined structure much earlier than if you were to wait for the free space to structure to reveal itself suddenly. It's worth a lot. What structure idea do you want to try out when you've created some space? Write to me at david at and tell me. Not only is it interesting for me to hear, but I might also be able to give you an extra tip that will give you a boost forward. Thank you for today and see you again next week.